Hey, it's Will Beard. My documentary is on the rivalry game between two high schools in Crawford County, Bucyrus High School and Winford High School. These two teams have played each other every year since 1977. They play for the love of the game, they play for bragging rights, and they play for this the Copper Kettle Trophy, which has remained at Winford High School since 1997. We recently sat down with Dan Messerschmidt, the sports director for the North Central Ohio Media Group, to talk about this game. Dan explains how the game come to pass and why Winford and Bucyrus decided to play for a trophy every year. Yep, you called it. Touch up! Yeah! Who decided that these two teams should play each other for a trophy every year? Well, the Kiwanis Club sponsored the trophy in those early years. I'm not sure if they were the ones that suggested it to the two schools or the two schools had already decided that they were going to play and then the Kiwanis said, okay, we're going to sponsor a trophy for this game. So I, I think the Kiwanis Club had, a, had a, a lot to do with having the trophy. The Copper Kettle game just happens for football. It doesn't happen for basketball or any other sport, right? That is correct, yes, football. So you've been involved with the Copper, I mean, you've known about the Copper Kettle game pretty much your whole life. So how has that transpired as you've become an adult? What was it like as, with that rivalry when you were a kid? Was the rivalry really big in the 60s when you were a kid with Winford? In basketball, yes. They did not play football. I believe their first varsity season was the fall of 66. If I'm not at Winford. Winford? Yes, that was their, their first. They didn't play football at the beginning. They only had basketball. Okay. And so I think it was, you know, it took a, it took a while for them to build a football program. You know, you could, back then, Bucyrus was a much larger school than Winford. And for Winford, as a fledgling program in a smaller school, to be playing a bigger school like Bucyrus, who was at the time playing in the NOL, would have been you know, daunting. If you talk to people like Lynn McKeever, who played at Winford, he said, we, we couldn't have played Bucyrus at that time. He said, we would have gotten ourselves killed. But it was basically his his uh, assessment. Of course, that was right around the time Bucyrus in 1970 was undefeated and ranked second in the state polls. That was prior to the current playoff system. And so there were no playoff games at that point. They were number two in the state undefeated. So yeah, Winford didn't want to have any part of that. But by the, by the mid-70s, they were starting to develop a, a pretty decent, at least competitive program. So the first, uh, the first Copper Cattle football game was in 1977. So of all the games that you've been to, I mean, is there one that really <laughs> sticks out to you? Well, re in recent memory, the, the one that, that Bucyrus had probably up until this year, the best chance of breaking the streak was 2013. And the final score in that game was 41 to 40. And uh, Bucyrus actually had scored the final touchdown in that game and was lined up to kick the tying extra point. And coach at the time, Aaron Eckert, decided he wanted to go over two and try to win it right there because there was only like a minute and something left in the game. So he called a timeout just as his kicker was kicking the tying extra point and it would have been good. He went for two and the quarterback slipped and fell down and uh, so the conversion was no good and they lost 41 to 40. So that one, that one kind of stands out because of the, of the, the chance to, you know, break what wasn't quite the streak it is now, but it was still a pretty uh, imposing streak. You've seen this game a as, a, as a kid and now a member as a media professional for 30 years. I mean, how does it, how has this game changed for you personally? Well, you know, I was actually, I was out of school, obviously, uh, when they played the first football game. I was in school when they played their first basketball games back in the 60s. But uh, for football, um, and it, for me, a lot of the, the players and at, at basketball, <clears throat> and then I'm sure it's the same for the kids all the way through the whole time, they know each other so well. You know, a lot of these kids, part of the Winford District is, act, is actually in the city limits of Bucyrus. These kids are playing Little League Baseball together, they're swimming at the pool at the park together in the summertime, uh, you know, they're in Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts. There are all kinds of crossover things that Regardless of the school district, they're doing things together. So these kids know each other so well. If you talk to you know some of the old timers like me back when we were back in school, a 
lot of them really didn't like playing Winford because they were playing their friends. They were trying to beat their friends. They wanted to, you know, you talk to people like Tom Roberts, the people that played in the 60s that had pretty good basketball teams, they would have much rather played Bellevue or Shelby or Tiffany Columbia. They didn't know them, they didn't care. But playing their friends was you know, something like that. This game went back and forth with the score until a late Winford touchdown in the fourth quarter, giving the Royals their first victory of the season and thus sealing the deal for the Bucyrus Redmen and capturing the Copper Kettle Trophy for a 26th consecutive year.